Hi, it's Rick. I'm back in the shop. And I've been asked by my biggest fan, a boy named Dylan, if I could make a video on making spinning tops. You know, in all the things I've turned, I've never made a top before, so this ought to be fun. Now, there are a lot of different styles of tops and different ways to get them spinning. You have finger tops, uh, the old-fashioned throw top, and a top that's spun using a launcher. And that's the type I'm going to build today. So thank you for the suggestion, Dylan. This video's for you. So I have a whole bag full of these dowels. I bought them from a local general store. They sell them in feed bags. They, they're cutoffs. They come from local furniture makers and cabinet makers. and They're sold so that people can use them as kindling in their wood stoves in the winter time. And I ended up with a bag full of these. They're about 2 inches by 5 inches long ash dowels. So you know I couldn't burn those. And That's what I'm going to be using today to make the tops out of. So the first thing I want to do is find the centers so I can drill holes because I'm going to be making these tops using the screw chuck that I used in making the chess pieces in my chess piece making videos. So let's get that done. So I have my screw chuck mounted on my lathe, and this is the screw chuck that I made before I made the chess pieces video. And I turned all the chess pieces that I made using this screw chuck, and you can go back and watch those. Um, and I'm using this for a reason, because for one thing it's a good way to hold stock while you're turning it, and the other is I'm going to be using the hole uh, in the blank after I turn the top to hold a small dowel and that will be used to launch the top from a launcher that we'll be making for these. So let's get this mounted and we can get started making the top. So I went with this egg shape, kind of a traditional shape, and now I'm going to drill a hole into the end of the top, and I'll show you why in a few minutes.
So this is a pop rivet, and this one has a nice round head on it. I'm going to use that to my advantage on part of the top. So first, I'm going to knock this part off of the, the nail part. not all that difficult and then I'm going to saw it off about halfway okay and off camera I'll grind a little point on the end so I can drive it a little ways into the wood inside the top So here is that insert, now that I'm done with it, and I'm going to put it into the top using some gel super glue. Normally I would use epoxy, but I don't have any, so I'm going to try this out. There it is. The final thing we're going to need for this top, besides the launcher, is a dowel to put in the back. And I had turned this one for an earlier project and didn't use it. It just happens to be the right size. So I've measured off two and a quarter inches. I'll cut off a piece. So obviously you want to make sure that your dowel is the same size as the hole in your top. Now all I need to do is add some wood glue, drive it in with the mallet, and make sure that it's straight. Off the excess, and I'm just going to check it with this, the edge of the ruler to make sure that it's fairly straight because the straighter it is, the better it'll turn. Now this may be a little long, I'll check it after I make the launcher and cut it down if I have to. So now that we have a top, we need a launcher to see if it'll even spin. And I'm going to make that in the next video. I'll put up a link right here to make it easy for you to get to. Go ahead and click on it. You know you want to. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.